Hi folks, welcome to Easy Finances. This week we're looking at the progress of our video portfolio and then we're going to discuss some changes that are coming and they're very exciting changes and we're going to implement those in the new year. First up, this portfolio is for demonstration purposes only. I am not a certified financial advisor. If you have questions about your specific financial situation, please find a certified financial advisor. As for that, let's get on with it. Okay, if we go over here and look at our uh, portfolio, we're going to see that for the one day, we are up 60 cents total. And if we look down what the big gains were, it looked like growth is up 0.7%. ETFs are only up 0.43%. Individual dividend picks have only gone up 0.19%. And the high dividend yields are lagging by 0.20%. So overall, on the day, we had a 0.28% return. If we look into the dividends, we didn't earn any dividends today. But for this week, we continue. We got a gain of $3.66 with 1.79% return for the week. If we look at the biggest area of growth here, we see that growth is again won by 3.84%, followed by high dividend yield, interestingly enough, at 1.83%, individual dividend picks at 1.14%, and ETFs only at a gain of 1.10%. For the month, we're up 3.92% with, again, growth being the leader at 6.47%. And uh, that's an amazing turnaround for growth because before the individual dividend picks were, were well ahead on all of that. But lately, the growth stocks have really been taken off. And I, I think the trade deal has something to do with that. It's quite interesting. On the quarter, we see a 9.61% return with growth leading the way at 18.28%, followed by the individual dividend picks at 7.88 percent. If we look overall, we have our individual dividend picks still ahead, but growth quickly approaching. So we have 15.29 percent individual dividend growth, and we have the uh, growth of the growth portfolio or piece of pie at 13.13 percent, followed by ETFs at 10.77 percent, and high dividend yield at 5.98 percent. So overall, the the total return has been 11.24%. If we look into our ETFs only, we can see overall the stock market has been the big leader, followed by bonds, interestingly enough, and real estate. I would have expected those two to be reversed, but real estate seems to have been in a slump lately where bonds are still just steady. If we go back to the portfolio and we go ahead and take a look into our individual dividends, Picks. We're going to see our biggest gains have been in Starbucks with a 47.21% gain, Target 44.66%, MasterCard 39.77%. I could go down the list, but you can see on the screen for yourself as I scroll down here. Some fantastic gains over the life of this portfolio, so which has only been less than a year here. so And some losses as well. As you see, some of these have been a loss, and those losses present an opportunity to buy in and, and lower the cost basis for those. And we'll talk about that in later videos. But if you want to look at what's been growing in the growth section the most, we got Microsoft. Out of all the growth stocks that I have, I wouldn't have expected Microsoft to still have so much in it. Uh, Tesla being a quick second, Facebook third. Eli, which is Callaway Golf Company, is fourth. iRobot, which was a fairly new addition. It's in, uh, I think, last week's video, maybe the week before. But uh, that's it's that's a big growth, and I think the trade deal has a lot to do with that particular one as well. So they stand to get no tariffs on, on their equipment coming in, and they're just going to make a lot of money, especially for Christmas, probably. So we've got Nike, Amazon... Uber, Berkshire Hathaway, and Google is has been lagging in this account. And I would be interested to see what other growth 
uh, stocks we could put in there. And I, I might look at that in a little bit later. Take out Google and put something else in there. I like to have 10, you know, put 10% in each and let them run up with the same amount of money in each one. We'll see how that goes. And finally, our high dividend yield section is up $3.11 overall. 5.98% return. We look, it's, it's had a dollar thirty-seven cents in dividends, which is fantastic. But the, the biggest gains have been from Universal Corporation, followed by Phillips 66, Ford Motor Company, AT&T, GlaxoSmithKline, so on and so forth. I'll scroll down here so you can see it all. We have some bigger losers in this one. BP, AbbVie, Verizon, um, Macy's, Cedar Fund. Cedar Fund I might be dropping because uh, they, they're they having a little bit of uh, some cash flow problems. AbV, I think, on the other hand, is, is probably a good buy. And I'll probably be picking up more of that later on if I can. And that's something that we're going to have to look into into these portfolios. There's going to be some big changes. Well, first I wanted to see what the, in, the dividends on the individual dividend picks are, have been 95 cents okay for the overall life and we'll look at dividends on each one of these earn dividends on growth is 11 cents is all ETFs only 64 cents which is pretty respectable and total dividends three dollars and eight cents so far if we look into the activity here we'll see since last week we got dividends from Coca-Cola Company, uh, Duke, Cedar Fun, Royal Dutch Shell, and we had the deposit, of course, today with the 65 buys. Here's the buys. We got O Realty, Apple, Macy's, Royal Dutch Shell, VTI, Kimberly Clark, and so on and so forth. You can read down through there. There we go. Now going back to the portfolio, what I wanted to talk about is what we're going to do in the new year. And uh, with the new year, we're going to be adding a lot more money to this. $40 a week, I'm going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, $10 each day. And of course give the update on Thursday nights and put that out for everybody. And that should make it a little bit more interesting for folks. And what I wanted to do in the beginning here was show what someone with very little money could still do and make quite a bit of profit actually and as you can see we're up 11.24 percent but I think we're done with that and we're ready for the next phase so as you increase your income you know you say okay I'm dedicated to this I want to find more ways to make money maybe take on a second job maybe do some side jobs or or something and start putting more money in it well that's gonna kick us into the next phase of adding forty dollars a week and that should be a big difference a big change so, and we're going to watch that over the course of next year and see how that grows. And if I do get, uh, you know, some referrals, you guys will see that pop pop in here. It's going to pop into this account and, and help fund it as well. And with the referral link in the bottom, you can sign up with $100 to start an account. And you'll get $10, I'll get $10, and you'll see that $10 grow in here because that's where it's going to stay. And also, if I get any... Um, bonuses from work if I get a tax return I'm gonna put that in here as well not the whole thing of course but at least a portion of it so you can see you know when you add little chunks of money how, you know where to add them how it how it affects the account and uh, we're gonna have fun following it and see how we do next year so that's what I have for the update and that's exciting to me I think that's gonna be fun uh, put you know just dedicating a little more money to it and, and seeing where it goes and hopefully that will be entertaining for you folks I look forward to uh, taking the ride with you. We're also going to split up uh, the videos. I'm going to do a an update video and a conversational video on some of the other topics instead of putting them together as I have in the past. So um, should be interesting. Uh, we might be, you know, from time to time doing some updates, cutting out some companies as I spoke about in the update, and uh, you know, adding, taking away, and uh, doing a little trimming and, and talking about why I've done that. And I look forward to the discussion and the trip with you guys. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.